Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Steph. If you haven't tuned in before, thank you so much for watching. Today's video I think is a really important one for families out there who are trying to budget. We have been in positions many times throughout the last decade where we've needed to really curb our spending and save on our grocery shop because I know for a lot of people that's some of their biggest expenses. So today's video is all about showing you how to plan shop and think about how to feed your family for a lot less than you would expect. So I'm going to ask the question and please comment down below. How much are you spending each week, each fortnight, so each two weeks, each month on groceries? I know that I can go and spend $200 a week easily to feed our family of three. So what I'm going to show you today is how you can feed your family of four people for only $1, less than actually $1 per person per meal. So what that means is we are looking at a breakfast, a lunch, a dinner, and three snacks per person per day for 14 days. And I am going to show you how to do that for just over $200 for those 14 days. That's Australian dollars. Uh, that is based on current grocery prices at Coles in Australia, particularly in Victoria where I shop. So if you have the opportunity to visit green grocers, if you have the opportunity to visit butchers, if you have the opportunity to go to Aldi, you may be even able to get this even cheaper. You potentially could get this down to maybe $180, $190, maybe cheaper again. I have gone for a variety of different things. I have made sure that there is fresh fruit and fresh vegetables. I have made sure that there is dairy. I have made sure that there is protein and I have made sure that there are some treats. So this isn't a type of shop where you just go, oh, that all sounds disgusting. My family won't eat that. They are staple meals. There are no repeat meals for dinners. So the dinners, 14 different dinners for this price. These are not make mass quantities of food. So you've got heaps left over and reuse them different ways. You can do that. You can save even more money if you want to do that. But that is not what I'm showing you today. I am showing you how to plan and prepare 14 different dinners, a number of different lunch options, a number of different breakfast options, and a number of different snack options for your family. This is by no means an exhaustive list. Um, you can adapt this as you need. If you eat vegetarian, this is not going to be the meal plan for you. There are some vegetarian meals thrown in here, um, but they're not what I'm showing you today. If you want recipes for any of the meals that I'm discussing, just send me an email. It's in my about section, or you can comment below with your email and I'm happy to send recipes to people. I'm also happy to send people the meal plans that you'll see featured really soon. Happy to send them if you need a bit of guidance. I will provide a full shopping list and I will also provide the total cost of everything, the breakdown per meal per person as well. If you have any questions, please comment down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe to my channel, turn on that notifications bell. Uh, it makes all of this a lot more worthwhile for me. It makes me feel as though you enjoyed the video and you like the content that I'm producing. I know it gets monotonous and I know everybody's asking you to do it, but we do really appreciate it as creators. So let's get stuck into it. I'm going to show you my initial planning. So definitely, if you haven't already, you want to make plans. These are different lists. One of them has different meal options. One of them's the shopping list. There are a few things I left off the shopping list that I remembered as I went through. I checked off every single meal. You can shop in a couple of different ways. So you can shop based on what you want to cook, or you can shop based on what's on special and prepare a it. This is based off shopping off what you want to cook. Okay, so the meals are already preset. If you don't like to do that, you can do it in many different ways. So that's totally up to you. So there's week one and week two meal plans. And then I'm going to show you how I go about my online shopping with some tips. And then I'm going to show you the finished products of like what I've actually got in my basket. Yeah, and then I'll wrap up the video. Thank you. And I hope you continue watching. I thought I would talk you through week one. So week one, we have got for breakfast, porridge with fruit, toast, porridge with peanut butter, toast, porridge with whatever you like, eggs and bacon and pancakes. Now, of course, this is flexible. And obviously, if your kids don't eat porridge or if you don't eat porridge, you can choose something else. And I try to just save um, the more practical sort of fun stuff for the weekend. Lunch over at sandwich free choice. Like we eat lots of ham and cheese sandwiches, but you might prefer to have Vegemite, peanut butter, honey, jam, whatever. So every second day is a sandwich and then every other day is something more fun. So we've got pizza wheels, spinach and feta muffins, both of which can be frozen, easy to grab out, defrost by lunchtime, really tasty, can be eaten hot or cold. And we've got soup with bread. I really love a lentil soup, which is the ingredients that I've included in this list, but you could do any type of soup you like. You could do vegetable soup, you could do pumpkin soup, could do, you know, minestrone really flexible and with all the ingredients that we've got you potentially could you do any of those soups with this and then a zucchini slice and i've done that for sunday so that we can carry through the leftovers into week two for dinners 
I've gone with the meat-free Monday option. We've got a vegetarian chili with rice. Then Tuesday, you've got chicken schnitzel. So Tuesday, I've tried to keep it like a chicken theme. Wednesday is more like a breakfasty type theme. So quiche with chips and salad. Thursday, you've got sausages with vegetables. Friday is like a pasta theme. So this week is spaghetti bolognese with hidden veg. Saturday is like a fake away or like a, you know, takeaway at home type option. So homemade pizzas. And then Sunday, I went for the classic type roast. So you've got roast chicken with veg. Of course, adapt as necessary. You can mix these meals up. They can be any time of the week. Now, you know what snacks your family likes, but I've just done a list of general snacks that I've included in this particular grocery shop. You can adjust it and amend it as necessary. I said pick three, assuming one for morning tea, one for afternoon tea, and something for after dinner if you're so inclined. If you don't eat anything after dinner, that even reduces the cost further and you can just pick two. So I've got celery with peanut butter, biscuits with cheese, fruit, muesli with yogurt, yogurt with tin fruit, chips, savory biscuits, and Anzac biscuits. And they just run throughout the week with things like zucchini slice and with my spinach and feta muffins and with the quiche if you have leftovers they can form parts of snacks and things like that as well so you'll notice that the snacks breakfast lunch has barely changed there is leftovers on sunday because i'm assuming that you may have quite a bit left over um our dinners have changed though we've got veg curry with rice for our meat-free monday for our chicken meal on a tuesday we've got chicken pisciola with pasta rice and mash i'll talk more about that and what that is a bit later omelette with veg you've got stew, sausage stew with rice and veg a tuna bake tacos for your saturday fake away or takeaway kind of style night and then roast meatloaf with veg you could interchange that for another roast if you've got a bit more money spare you might like to buy a beef or a lamb it's just more economical to eat the uh, mince given the current situation you may obviously want to shop online so i'm just going to show you how much it costs online so just make sure that when you are doing this and you'll have to excuse my son's run over it that you've got a really clear list of all the things that you need. Uh, you can be adaptable, obviously, and if you see something that you like that's on special, you can change it up. Luckily, a uh, character on special, and I'm gonna add two bags of those. You can just drop down and add more if you haven't done this before. I'm not gonna show you through everything that I'm doing, but the first piece of advice I have is obviously to check what is on special. You can always just go home and then you can look at all the specials that way and then you can just tick off the things that you need. Uh, otherwise, when you actually look up a product, then you can actually click specials as well. So if I type in milk, for example, and just enter in then i can look up specials there obviously there's not a lot on special but that's just an example and another thing i want you to think about i had every intention of adding zucchini slice to my list zucchinis are not in season really at the moment and they're six dollars ninety per kilogram so i'm just going to rethink what i'm making in terms of the zucchini slice and i think i'll probably go down the path of making a different type of slice so i'll probably add some spinach in with the bacon and some other green veg um frozen spinach is a great alternative to fresh spinach it's super super cheap you can get it for 99 cents a packet so yeah no zucchini slice and i think you have to be prepared to do that randomly saw that the taco kits are actually half price so with fruit go through and see what's on special this week red seedless grapes are on special so i will be getting those and when you're looking you know apples they're on special just make sure that everything that you're choosing um is cheapest per kilogram like these large pack of oranges are $1.97 per kilogram uh, versus three dollars ninety if i bought them now it used to be that chicken thigh was cheaper than chicken breast but now chicken breast is cheaper than chicken thigh and if you want to go cheaper again you can do drumsticks so you can just alter my menu to include drumsticks i'm going to do chicken breast just because that's what my family prefers to eat we do like drumsticks and they're really great for slow cooking in winter so if you've never tried them before i 100 percent recommend giving them a go now when i was thinking of roast chicken i was thinking of a whole roast chicken uh but it's actually cheaper to purchase it. And so I can buy 1.75 kilograms for $9.63 or I can buy 1.46 for $8. It's $5.50 a kilogram. We don't need more than that. So I'm going to add one of those. Another really important tip is that you adjust how you sort your products. So you sort to the lowest unit price cost because that's actually going to be the cheapest way of doing it. And you'll see that the Coles pasta, for example, is the cheapest. That doesn't work for everything. So like lowest unit price for bread isn't necessarily the cheapest. The cheapest for bread is doing it the cost um, cheapest by cost. So I'm going to show you what I've got in the trolley or in the basket or in the virtual basket right now. We've got peanut butter crunchy. We've got sweet and salty chocolate flavored sandwich crackers as a bit of a treat because they were only a dollar. We've got plain rice crackers, cracker squares, white sugar, toasted muesli. We've got two different kinds of potato chips. We've got potato wedges to have with our quiche. 
We have got sour cream. We've got tomatoes and iceberg lettuce for salad. We've got salted butter. We've got regular spread. We've got golden syrup for those Anzac biscuits. We've got curry powder, chili con carne, Mexican seasoning. We've got three different kinds of bread because some people are fussy. You've got minced garlic. We've got penne pasta, spaghetti. We've got self-raising flour. We've got tuna. We've got oats, two different kinds. We have four bean mix. We have red split lentils. We have smart pie breadcrumbs. We have tomato paste, four tins of chopped tomatoes, two Italian passatas, a kilogram of basmati rice. We have... 180 grams of mild uh, salami. We have 400 grams of sliced honey ham. We have 1.46 kilograms, one kilogram of three star beef mince, 1.8 kilograms of sausages, 24. That will last more than two weeks. That would last for at least four meals. 500 grams of bacon. We have 1.1 kilograms of chicken breasts. We have mozzarella. We have thick and cream. We have tasty cheese. We have feta. We have two tubs of Greek yogurt. We have two three liter milks. We have 24 eggs. We have two frozen spinach. We have frozen broccoli and cauliflower. We have frozen corn, frozen peas, a bunch of celery. We've got watermelon, oranges, grapes, bananas. We've got a hard and soft shell taco mix. We've got a whole pumpkin. We have brown onions, sweet potatoes, and brushed potatoes, and two packages of carrots. So we've got a lot of stuff here. I'm not, um, and I'm going to show you what the total cost is in just a moment. Two hundred and twelve dollars and sixty-two cents. That's it. $212.62 for a fortnight's worth of food, for 14 days worth of food, for four people. That's, that's all. Some people, some of you that are watching this, may spend that on takeaway in a fortnight, may spend that on eating out at restaurants, but I can feed you. I'm telling you right now, you can feed your family of four people, two adults, two children, or potentially four adults if they're smaller eaters, for $212.62, which works out to less than $1 per meal. And I'm included all three snacks as one meal, but you can get three main meals, three snacks that are relatively balanced, that are relatively nutritious for less than a dollar per person. As you can see, it is a pretty, you get a lot of food. There's 75 items for that cost. And you, as long as you're prepared to do a little bit of cooking, uh, there are a lot of different options, a lot of different things that you can make out of the products that I bought. Not just obviously what I've said, you could make fried rice, you could make different pizza toppings. You can make a whole host of different things based on what I've purchased. There will be leftovers. Some of the stuff that I've added onto the list is certainly not going to be gone through in two weeks. Will you need to do a top up shop? That's dependent on how your family eats and how your family operates. You might need some more bread. You might need some more milk. I wouldn't expect that you would need to spend any more than an extra $20 or $30 for the fortnight uh, to be able to stretch everything out. So I will go through in a bit more detail if you want to stick around on um, how these meals kind of look um, and, what, and what goes in them. And as I said, if you want recipes for any of the meals that I've shown, just let me know. Uh, for example, the vegetarian uh, curry, you've got your curry powder, you've got other spices. This video assumes that you have oil, spices, and some raising agents. So your bicarb sodas or your baking powders. Uh, if you don't have those, obviously please add them on to, you're probably adding on maybe another $10 to $20, depending on how many spices you want to purchase. But I'm assuming that most people have some of these basics already in their pantry, but everything else is included in the shop. If I talk about my vegetarian chili with rice, you are going to use uh, some, some lentils. You are going to use the four bean mix. You are going to use a tin of chopped tomatoes. You are going to use the chili con carne sachet. You are going to use some celery, some carrots, and some corn, and some tomato paste, and some, some stock, which I assume hopefully you have some on hand, um, and some water, and you're going to simmer that down. You're going to serve that with a portion of rice. That's just an example of one of the meals. Obviously, you need some salt and pepper and that kind of thing as well. The chicken schnitzels, you're going to need a couple of eggs. You're going to need the breadcrumbs. You're going to need to use half of your chicken breast. The other half, get frozen. Then you need to use them the following week for your chicken pizziola. Your chicken pizziola is going to be you grilled the chicken, then you put in the um, passata sauce. Then once that simmers down, you can use some garlic, some onions, some spices, and then you top the pizziola with some um, vegetables. So you can chop it with whatever vegetables that you've got on hand. Um, you can also include just ham and cheese, make it like a parmigiana. And then that is served with, so I put it with mashed potato and some other vegetables. 
So again, that's just an example of one of my meals. Another example is my sausage stew. So you cook off the sausages, you use a tin of tomatoes, you can turn them into curried sausages if you want, you've got that curried uh, powder. You do some mixed vegetables, you serve it with mashed potato, with pasta, with rice, whatever sort of carbohydrate you like. The tuna pasta bake has a tin of tuna in it, it has some flour, it has some cheese, it has some milk, it has some garlic, it has some onions, it has some mixed vegetables, it has a tin of pasta and it has some grated cheese and breadcrumbs on top done. So as you can see, the meals are not meant to be complicated. They're not hard to put together. They're generally fairly family friendly meals. And I like to think that there's a decent variety. You know, is there any expensive cuts of meat in this grocery shop? No, there are not, but you are still eating reasonably well for a budget. So you might not have to always shop like this. If you have extra money aside, you may like to swap out some of the cuts of meat. You might like to have steak one night. You might like to have roast, but I guarantee you that um, if that's the case, you can still spend under 250, under $300 for the fortnight. So if you have any questions about anything that has been in this video today, please comment down below. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye for now.